this is Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to look at some of Longevity's aluminum TIG welding rod. And uh, we've got the 5356 and we've got the 4043. Now I'm not going to use a gas saver, I'm just going to use a standard number 7 cup and our serrated tungsten. And uh, let me get some other material and clean it up and uh, we'll see how this stuff works. Okay, what I'm going to do with the aluminum here, I'm just going to go ahead and make a standard T-joint fill a weld and I'm going to use the, the 53, 56 first and then I'll stop and I'll do the 40, 43 next. And uh, I don't foresee any problem. My aluminum's clean enough. Got all the oil off, all the grit and any, any kind of grinding dust. And um, I'm pretty confident of this. Okay, I'm starting with the 5356. Keeping it short, just dabbing it in there. Remember to watch for the undercut. You want to keep the tungsten short from the cup, that way you're not dabbing it into the puddle. Just flow it in there. Nice uniform tapping. You can keep the gas cover over it. Then I'm going to come back with the 4043. Now they both run the same, same principle for each one. But the 4043, it's, it's a softer alloy. It's not as brittle as the other. We come to the end of the plate. You want to slow down, re release some of the heat, and then just add some rod so it doesn't blow right on through. Let it ball up and keep that cup there. And that's it. Okay, and there's your two welds. You can see that I got the 5356 here and the 4043 here. Now the 4043 is actually a softer alloy and it, it helps you from getting away from cracking at the, the end and the beginning of your weld. And the, the 5356, that's the standard aluminum used in most of the trade. Anyway, all it has to do is just wire brush, and it looks pretty good. I'm Rob. Thanks for joining me on Longevity Learning Lab. Bye.